Do you know what's better than promoting your YouTube channel as a small YouTuber? Promoting your YouTube channel for free on a platform that has over 120 million active users. And if you guessed Instagram, then you probably read the title of this video and that's why you clicked on it, or you're an active user on Instagram and this is going to be the perfect tips video for you to drive traffic from Instagram to YouTube so you can get more views and more subscribers. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be talking about is Reels. Reels is the newest Instagram feature and the algorithm is pretty loose on there, which means you can reach a wider audience with your Reels and drive more traffic to your YouTube channel. Now, unlike some of the other features I'm gonna be talking about today, like your IGTV and your stories, Reels has to be really short form. You have to be able to grab the audience's attention and drive them to wanna click on the link in your bio. So some things you can do with Reels is some simple tips. So if you're sharing a tip video like this, you can go ahead and jump on Reels, do one of those point things to different text bubbles and drive them to want to know more. So this way they have to click the link on your bio to watch the full video. If you are more of a lifestyle channel, you can share like a craft that you're doing or something that you have in your video, but not share the outcome. Again, this way it drives traffic to your YouTube channel. So they have to watch more. If you are more into like the pranks or the family channels that do things like that, you can show you setting up a prank and right before the prank actually happens, again, cut it off and let them know they have to click the link on your bio if they wanna know more. Okay, so the next tips go for your stories. YouTube stories is probably one of the most active features right now next to Reels because Reels is so new. Everyone is on YouTube stories. It's a really good way to get in front of your audience and connect with them on a behind the scenes level, kind of talk to them a little bit more when you're not making YouTube content. And it's more active than feed. People seem to be on stories more. I've pulled my audience and people say they definitely watch stories more than they look at the feed pictures because it's more realistic and it's more real life, which means you're going to reach your audience a lot more if you post in your story. So some things that I do to really hype up a video or entice a video and make them click on the link in my bio so this way they can watch. Or if you have the swipe up feature because you have 10,000 followers on Instagram, that works as well. I will make sure the day before, a couple of days before, I kind of show a behind the scenes of what I'm working on. I basically want to prep them to know something's coming up. So they're gonna wanna watch more. So some ways I do this is I will take small clips of the video that I'm working on. I will render it out in my editing software. And then I usually do all of my templates on Canva. It's really Really good if you want to do any of the animated text you could do all of that in canva i upload it straight to my stories and then i add the countdown feature this is great because youtube's notification bell does not always work so it gives them another reminder if they click on instagram that they have their notifications on there it'll remind them to go to my youtube channel and watch the new video another thing i do is the day that i launch the new video i will make sure to add another clip different than the one that i used from the countdown timer but again it just entices them to want to click on the video I have seen a massive change when it comes to me just sharing a thumbnail of what the video is versus me sharing a clip of the video, kind of like a preview. And I make sure to keep it about 15 to 30 seconds, which equals about one to two slides. When it comes to the countdown timer, I only want that on one slide. But if I'm showing a preview, I will maybe do two, maybe three slides to make them want to click the link in my bio. Okay, so the next tip is great if you do not have 10,000 followers because this is how you can get the swipe up hack without 10,000 followers on Instagram. That is IGTV. So instead of doing short forms and my stories of doing a preview of the video, maybe I take one full section. You want it to be at least a minute long because that's what you need to do on IGTV. Then once my IGTV is made, I will go ahead and put the video link in the description box of my IGTV so people know they can click on there because those are clickable links. Then what I do is I share that to my Instagram stories and this is where you can get the swipe up link. It only takes you to your IGTV, but you do have a clickable link there. So it's a great way, again, to funnel traffic to your YouTube channel. All right, and I know I mentioned before that more people are on stories than they are your feed, but that does not mean you cannot repurpose videos on your feed. I do this a lot when it comes to those videos that are really going to establish my authority in my niche or something that I feel needs to just be more permanent versus your stories disappearing or maybe staying in your highlight section. It's just a really good way, again, to stop the scroll, especially if you use templates on Canva, especially if you're funneling traffic, say they see your reels first, they have to click on your profile. And if your profile is set up to really match your niche. They're going to be more inclined to see what else you have to talk about on YouTube. 
All right, and you guys know I love giving bonus tips for those of you who stay watching my entire video. Thank you so much. It really does help my channel out when you watch all the way through, and I hope it does signify that you are getting value from this. So if you are, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. For those of you that are still here, I wanna let you know that I use Flow Pages for the link in my bio. So I know there's a lot of different links that you can use, like Linktree and things like that. I think Milkshake's a really good one. But like Milkshake, I can embed my videos, which means people can watch my videos straight onto the link. But unlike Milkshake, you can only do it with one video. But I do prefer Flow Pages because on Milkshake, you can only do embedded videos on one thing. And on Flow Pages, I can now do an embedded video. Underneath that, I can have my YouTube channel and then I can have like my Amazon storefront or anything else that I need all on one page versus them having to swipe through. So this is a really good feature if you have a business base or maybe you're just doing multiple things as an influencer and you need a lot of different links on one page. Flow Pages is great for that. I'm going to leave them down in the description box below for you guys. So if you want to check them out and create your own flow page like I did to get more views on your YouTube channel from your Instagram to drive more traffic, it's going to be a great feature for you. All right, let me know in the comments below what you are focusing on this month as a smaller YouTuber and what are some of the struggles you find when it comes to growing on YouTube. And for more simple strategies to grow on YouTube, you can go ahead and check out the video on your screen. I'll also have it down in the pinned comments below. Now get out there, make some content. Let's grow together.